broken marriages and failed relationships, or as men call that, a small price to pay. <laughs> a small price. You know, I was thinking about crime the other day. Have you noticed we now have crimes that are uniquely America-only crime, like product tampering? You know, that's never happened in any other country. Never seen in Canada, India, England, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, Japan. I never seem to find a rooster head in their box of McNuggets, you know? <laughs> There's no finger in their bowl of Wendy's chili. There's no mouse in their Coke bottle. We're the only ones that tolerate this now. Actually, it's not with Tylenol. Remember somebody poisoned Tylenol? Then somebody put cyanide in suit effect. Remember? I had a cold about the time of that Sudafed poison. I'm not going to be intimidated because some psycho three states away poisoned one bottle. When I'm in the store, I'll be out of cab, I'll look at the package, I'll just put my guard up. You ever do that? You ever go through life thinking that your guard is up? But see, your guard is never, ever really up. Like, I'm in the cold weather in the supermarket, okay? I see the cold capsules, I see the capsules. I see the vacuum sealed in plastic. They're in a white plastic bottle. They got the red locking ring around the top. None of the tabs have been broken. It's got a childproof cap. It's in a cardboard box. It's wrapped in cellophane, <laughs> and the seal is unbroken. Oh, see, this is perfectly safe. Nobody has tampered with this. Yet, I walk through that same supermarket. I go by that Hickory Farms lady. Here, Mr. Eat This. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a woman I don't even know just gave me meat on a stick and I ate it, I ate it. That could have been some kind of Shiite meat bomb. <laughs> exactly. See, the problem with the Obamacare thing is they have too many government agencies under the Obamacare umbrella. Like, I got a prostate exam the other day, but it was done by a drone, and that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> And they keep coming out with all these erectile dysfunction drugs. Have you seen this new one they have called Code Red? This is a new thing. It's real. Code Red. It says, gives you an erection in seven seconds. Code Red. Unless she says no. Then you're Code Red. Okay. You're code red. Okay. Now what do you do? Okay. That's it. You're shut down. It's over. Thank you. You know what I was saying? about these, these slime ball insurance companies. These ones that prey on these elderly veterans. You see these TV commercials. How do these people sleep at night? Are you 50 to 80 and thinking about life insurance? What 80-year-old guy is just thinking about life insurance? You know, honey, our children are in their 60s now. And, well, God forbid if we ever had that motorcycle accident. Or, just want to know the kids are taken care of. And the benefits, if you're hospitalized, they pay you $50 a day cash. $50? How are you going to spend that kind of dough at a hospital? There's an extra two bucks, Doc. You give that to the head surgeon. <laughs> That's not all. They'll pay you that $50 every day you're hospitalized, regardless of length of stay. Hey, let's be honest. As soon as this hospital finds out, you're only getting 50 bucks a day, you'll be in a rollaway bed in a parking lot. Let me ask you. Is it me or does it seem like in the last couple of years, with all these new medicines we have, doesn't it seem like the side effects from a lot of these medicines is so much worse than whatever disease you may have had in the first place? Now, if you watch TV at all last year, you've seen this commercial. Apparently, there's just a horrible, debilitating disease sweeping America, crippling millions. Restless leg syndrome. <laughs> my mother used to call this tapping my foot at the dinner table. No, apparently I had RLS. Yes. And he's supposed to take a drug called Requit. Now this is the last line of the commercial. Exactly the same. I'm not changing the word. They say side effects include gambling and increased sexual desire. <laughs> Well, that's a huge improvement. <laughs> Look, I did not tap my foot anymore. Oh, I'm a horny, degenerate gambler. Oh. Yes, I've lost the house and committed adultery, but look at my life, fantastic. You know, you can tell the side effects of money you bet. Any pharmaceutical commercial where Americans over the age of 70 are running through a field. You ever see this? First of all, older Americans do not run willy-nilly into fields. That is a side effect, okay? <laughs> I heard one the other day, these are the actual side effects of the medicine. They say side effects include explosive diarrhea, <laughs> blindness, and possible sexual dysfunction. Now, do you even need that last one on there? I mean, guys, let's be honest, you walk into a bar swinging a cane with explosive diarrhea, no chicks are gonna come up to you, okay? <laughs> And to be fair, it's really more the explosive diarrhea. <laughs> For some reason, women view this as a huge turnoff, 
when approached by a man with explosive diarrhea. <laughs> what do you think about it? What disease could you have had in the first place if blindness, impotence, and explosive diarrhea is an improvement? <laughs> well, thanks, Doc. This is so much better than what I had. You ever change your clothes? You open a window? Doc, you still here? Doc? I'll tell you something. You know who's really clever? These companies that can name medicines. I mention this, I'm in a Rite Aid drugstore the other day, and I walk down the aisle, and I come to the end of the aisle, and I see a product right in front of me called Vagisil. <laughs> I have no idea what this product does. I have no idea what, how this product works. But some tiny clue in the name tells me, oh, this is not for me. <laughs> I realize I had entered the no man's aisle. They're right it. <laughs> but then it's the other one, it's worth the other Like I see the actress, Sally Field. Now she does an ad for a woman's product called Boniva. Boniva, that sounds like a guy product. Doesn't it? <laughs> Men having trouble maintaining, try Boniva. See, that seems like that would be a of any medicine that sounds like it was invented by Jerry Lewis. I mean, I know that's not logical. I know what Jerry Lewis has nothing to do with pharmaceutical manufacturing. Just certain medicines sound like Plavix! That sounds like <laughs> Contract! Hey, lady, that sounds like Cloning! Again, Los Angeles. See this woman in Los Angeles two weeks ago had her eggs frozen for seven and a half years. Frozen eggs. What's that? I mean, it's bad enough growing up finding out you were adopted. Imagine finding out you were defrosted. What is that? <laughs> Mom, can I have a popsicle? Send your a popsicle. <laughs> I'm going to wait those fish sticks. Touch your brother and sister behind there. <laughs> Damn, kids left the freezer door open and wiped out the whole family. <laughs> was your aunt and uncle you put in those ice cubes? You know, be kids are happy. <laughs> in fact, just this past week, UCLA Medical Center now says a common toilet plunger can now be used as a heart resuscitator. Oh, this is great news, huh? As if doctors aren't expensive enough, now I gotta bring a plumber in too. How much is that? <laughs> you know, I watched this report on CNN the other day, and I talked about this product that the FDA approved a couple years ago. I guess it's been in store shelves, so it's called Alestra, this fake fat. What they do is they take real fat out of food like ice cream and they replaced it with this new fake fat. See, only Americans would invent fake fat. I mean, half the world is starving to death. We have our brightest minds working on fake fat. And how does fake fat even work? Hey, Bob, it's like you put all of it away. Oh, 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 new Larry, this is fake fat, okay? You can fire that gun into me all day long. That's a beauty. See, we have way too much food. You know, we don't appreciate food, we waste food. Even the way we advertise our food can be insulting. You ever wonder why some of these poor countries don't like us? Hey, look, we're nice people. We are the most generous people in the world. But let's be honest, when it comes to food, we can be a little insensitive. You don't think they, they see our commercials? If you said to your average starving man in Somalia, what would you rather have? One bowl of total? Or 17 bowls? 17 bowls! <laughs> I can feed the whole village! What idiot trades 17 bowls of food for them before a special can? How arrogant can you like the movie Toy Story, Mr. Potato Head is a toy. We are the only country in the world that can afford to grow food for amusement purposes. <laughs> I mean, how do you explain the concept of Mr. Potato Head to some third world kid? A oh, little Kimber eat potato. No, oh, Kimber, you don't eat the potato. You put this funny hat and glasses on the potato. <laughs> eat potato. And you know something? We are becoming a nation of excuse maybe. I'm sure you heard the story. It's about eight or nine months old now. But scientists now believe obesity may be caused by a virus and not by overeating. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you see anybody in Africa with the obesity virus? Huh? Have you seen anybody come bounding out of the Sudan? We don't know what happened. Help us! 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 Help